everywhere in the world there is the comparison and um, that's because typically there's always that dichotomy no matter where you live in the world in Africa where I live I have seen things that have baffled me but it has also taught me life lessons and has helped me adjust my life and expectations as I grow why does it seem like people who came from poverty extreme poverty who don't even who may not have had access to education sometimes are the ones on the Forbes list as the richest men in Africa has it bothered you have you have you thought about it why does it feel like all the people who have all that they could who their parents went all out to do everything for them are at the lower rank of society I will tell you with these five points what habits that poor people form or things that poor people do that the rich will never do so that we can assess this thing and know where the problem is for you know that right here all we want to do is to build wealth and wealth that is transgenerational not the kind of wealth that when we are gone is gone we need to live a life that will have quality because we absolutely deserve it for me I think that poverty is not God gratifying it doesn't glorify God I don't want to get to heaven and God says why did you go misrepresent me on earth <laughs> Anyway, let's go straight to the five point comparison of what the poor usually does that the rich will never do. And that also will give us a clue into why they are the rich and succeeding and they are these ones are the poor and you know constantly remaining poor and dashing their generation of poverty. Number one thing I found out is that poor people remember poverty is in the mind, wealth is in the mind, and then it becomes physical be manifest because we are what we think we are our habits you know even the bible says as a man thinketh in his heart so is he right so this is about what we think and how they become things number one thing that i see poor people do all the time that the rich will never do is that the poor people focus on work active work work that involves them every day work that when they are sick they can't earn work that has to have them as a representative see i was also in this bubble for years let me not even kid you as a blogger content creator and all that i was doing everything by myself so the days i was we i was down the genetism brand which it used to be will not be available and that was so cray cray crazy <laughs> because i don't get it why would you want to slave with your blood that's what poor people do. What does the rich do? They look at work that they can delegate. So different people are doing what they need them to do. So there's a ripple effect on profit, on product distribution, and every other thing. Their brands get discovered faster because all they get other people to execute their plan. So they stay here and delegate. They stay here and nurture. They stay at the head and you know send people to represent their brands and products and all that check it all the brands you buy all the designers all the little things the shop the sugar the everything you see are they sold to you by the owner by your original designer by the person who actually started the business excuse me they are not okay they are not even with the brands that we know in africa like if you want to buy a car you go to cost charis you are not going to go there and cost charis is going to be the salesman selling the car to you so this is something that is so so obvious poor people are the ones who focus on active work doing it themselves being physically present rich people will never do that because i know that that is a waste of investment that's too small a thinking that's too small to scale kind of method number two Poor people always blame somebody, people, or something for their failures. I know you know this one from your business or from your family. Poor people are always complaining. It's always, oh, the weather, oh, the government, how the government is that, how the government is this. Yes, does the government have impact on businesses? Of course. But then they blame every other person for why they cannot move forward. 
they blame oh this is my sibling if he had helped me do this if my mother has sent me to school if my father had paid for my education if my other sister had agreed to take me to the uk if you know if somebody has given me money to register for gym if 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 they blame every other person and things around them even their children their house and everything for their misfortune they never look at themselves never but the rich they look at everything that happens to them and learn from from it so they can get better they also don't learn only from their mistakes they learn from the mistakes of others because you don't have all the time in life to live and make all the mistakes and learn from all of them so why blame someone you move fast that's a waste of energy so the energy you use in blaming people you go out there and execute go out there and try your luck and that takes me to the next point Poor people are the ones who are always say, no, I just have this limited money. I can't invest in this. Oh, no, no, no. My money is not enough. Blah, blah, blah. So they don't invest. But the rich, they take risk. They take risks. You must risk something intelligently. Not just throwing your money anywhere. Not and, and at the end of the day, the poor people are the people you see going to bed. So they don't want to invest, but they like money doubling. They like, you know... They like things that are, you know, bet, bet, lottery. They like those kind of things. So it's a mindset. You see what I mean? So they cannot part with their money because their income is small. So they can't save. Income is small. They can't invest. So they think of now. They're not thinking of the future. No long-term plan. Right? So, oh, they can't give this money because, oh, that's the money to go back to the market tomorrow. Remember, they're always involved in their business by themselves. They can't go back to, to market tomorrow if they lend you money, if they do this, because they have to actively be involved and they can't see beyond where they are. When they start doing something, remember, they stay there and they never ask themselves questions. That also takes you to the next point. The poor focus on active work. Oh, we are doing it. How is the business? It's okay. I thank God. You know, why are you making profit? Ah, profit. Every day, if I can just see my capital and go back to the market, I'm okay. Ah, because these days, things are increasing. But if it's not working, it's not working. Then we strategize. They are not afraid to fail. But the poor, you know, them to change to another thing. They rather stay there and just keep marking time. Keep marking time. They reach with the re-strategize, look at it again, revamp it, pad it here, pad it here. If it's not sustainable, they shut it down and go to something that is sustainable. Right? So they take risks. They're ready to take risks. But the poor, they can't. They can't because they're only looking at now. They're only thinking about small money, what they have in their hand right now. The fifth point, and which is the final one, but which is so critical, the poor people can waste time. That's why they have a lot of time to watch TV, follow series, they have a lot of time to go to their neighbor, they have a lot of time to ensure and do everything, to buy that tashue be, to just be part of the party. They're always thinking about how they will be perceived. The rich do not have time for that. The rich value time. If this thing is going to take me xyz length of time and it's not going to profit me bodily in my family my love life in my money life they will not be there yes so look at it again are you wasting time are you constantly holding yourself back from taking risk by uh, holding yourself from investing are you constantly thinking short term now now what we will eat what we will eat are you constantly afraid of trying new things <sighs> are you tired of being physically there being the one running everything then it's time to tweak the process tweak the process and please edge towards the rich mentality it will help you it will help your health it will help generations after you if you have liked the video in any way please give it a thumbs up is this something you've experienced is this something that you think is true then drop a comment and let's take this further in my next video don't forget to go back to my previous videos i have a few i will link them here here so that you can have a nice time thank you and see you soon